All right, what's good, everybody? Welcome to another video today. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm gonna do a drift build on this thing. Whatever the hell this is. It's a weird... It looks like a boat. It looks like one of those um, amphibious cars that you look like you can like drive on water. That's exactly what this thing reminds me of. What the fuck is that? That's so weird. I'm gonna keep it the standard color. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna add any paint job on this thing. Oh my god, this looks awful. It is a Lotus. That I know. I don't know what model of Lotus is. What was it like 340S or some crap like that? I don't even know. I'll see now in a second. That looks ridiculous. I'm sorry. But that just looks horrible. What is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be like a little... If it's supposed to be like a track car, then what is the normal Lotus supposed to be? I don't even know. What the hell is going on this? Like, I, I I don't know. I honestly don't know what to think of this. Well, it's a Lotus 340R, sorry. Let's go ahead and check out what we can do to this uh, visually, first of all. So nothing, we can't do anything. I can do that. Oh my god, that looks just completely awful without the... Oh my god, without that thing in the front. I can add a lip on the lip, so we can have a spoiler on a spoiler. Your dog, I heard you like spoilers. Um, what else? Engine swap. We can swap this thing from a 1.8 liter four cylinder to a 1.6 rally engine or a 3.2 inline six. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the 3.2 inline six in this thing. It's already rear wheel drive, so I'm gonna leave that the way it is. It's mid engine as well. And if I turbo this, a single turbo 3.2 inline six. I'm pretty sure 3.2 inline six is from the E36 or E46 Beamer. I'm pretty sure it's from the E46 Beamer. But let's just add that on. Actually, I don't want to leave. I just want to go ahead and go to something else. Right, what else do we have here? We can go with some sports tires. Yeah, let's put some sports tires on this thing. We're on 195s in the front. Bring this up to 215s. And then on the rear... Wait, are my wheels clipping? I thought they... No, they're almost clipping the arch there. Alright, anyway, and then on the rear, it's on 225s. Uh, I'll keep the 225s on the rear. I think that's fine. All right, wheels. What can we do with the wheels on this thing? I'll just choose like a random set of wheels for this. Something that will hopefully look decent, I guess. I don't know what sort of wheels I can add on this thing. Actually, I'll, I like these. These HREs. I'll put these on. Why the hell not? Wheel size. Bring them up to 17s. Same with the rear. Let's keep them on 17s. I don't know what this car is supposed to be. I'm guessing it's supposed to be some sort of a tracker. But yeah, it's another unusual drift build. And uh, this is going to be very interesting to see what this thing drives like. I really should test these cars out before I uh, before I modify them. Look at the fucking rotors. Look at the, the size of the discs. They're as big as the... Oh my god, they're as big as the wheels. And then if I put the Roddy Springs, it'll just go higher. But it's already on, uh, on race springs. So I'll keep that the way it is. Uh, I'll change these. Uh, ooh, the frame. D does it actually add a frame onto the car? Oh, it does. That actually looks pretty sick. I might do that. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's like a really badass rock cage. Right. So, how much power is this thing squeezing out right now? 400. Bring this up to around 600. Since we are on sports tires, we should be able to easily slide with sports tires on 600 horsepower. I don't know why I want to go that high in this thing. How much does this thing weigh even? 1,300 pounds. So, there you go. That's pretty much a Lotus Elise that's been stripped out of everything. That's pretty much why this thing is uh, is looking like this. So that is pretty much what our car looks like. I don't really want to change anything on it visually, like uh, like color wise and stuff like that. I want to keep it this disgusting blue color. I I really don't like this color at all, but I want to keep it on the wheels. I'm gonna keep gold as well because they actually don't look that bad in gold. But that's pretty much it. Let's just have a look at this thing. Go into Forza Vista here real quick. Oh my god, this looks ridiculous. Look at it. This looks mental. It's just so squished. It's like, it's a very, very squished Lotus Elise. That's mental looking. Such a weird car. Such a, such a weird car. Alright, cool. Let's drive this thing. Let's actually see what this thing drives like. I'll try to do a drift zone with it, because that'll be kind of fun to to do with this thing. Uh, also, tuning wise, I think I'll add like a basic tune to this thing. I don't really think... I don't really think uh, it really matters. It's already on like negative three camera in the front. Caster. Actually, I'm going to keep the standard tune on this thing. The only thing I'm going to change is change the toe to 1 degrees, and that's it. Anti-roll bars, I'll leave those the way they are. 
springs crazy soft on the front. It's super high. Let's bring this up. That's a little bit too soft on the front. Bring these up to about there. Uh, and let's slam this thing. Let's bring this as low as it possibly goes. Dampers. Um, bring the rebound stiffness down. So the front is soft and the rear is is pretty stiff. So do that. Bring this up just a little bit. Like so. Differential. Again, lock the acceleration. The deceleration doesn't really matter too much. And that's pretty much where we are with the tuning. Let's drive this thing. Let's see what it's like. Oh my god. I think 600 horsepower was a little bit much. <laughs> oh my fucking god, this is fast. Alright, okay, 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 okay. I have an idea. Let's actually go to one of these events, or one of these, uh... One of these, uh, drift zones and actually try to do it, but I need to go to a, a nice interesting one. Like, I don't want to do this, the same one again. Um, let's have a look here. Which one's a nice... Nice and interesting one. This one is pretty short. No. This one, let's see here. That's pretty short as well. Not too many corners on it. That one's off-road. Let's have a look. What else? What else? What else? What else do we have here? This is, like, one of the best ones, because this actually, like... It's it's kind of long as well and has like decent like sweeping corners. So that's probably like one of the best ones that we can possibly try out. This one? This one looks alright. It has kind of kinda of has two corners in it. Only 50,000 points. Not the best. This one. I think this is the one that we have to do. It still says undiscovered PR stunt, even though I've done that. Alright, let's do this. Let's do that one. Alright. I don't even know how many points we have to get because it still says under undiscovered PR stunt, even though I've already have Three stars in this. I'm guessing I've done it online before I unlocked it. Right. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's uh, let's actually try this uh, this thing here. <laughs> this is gonna be so weird to drive. This thing is stupid powerful. Oh my god. All right. I hope I can uh, I can get in top one percent. That's actually pretty interesting. That, it's actually not that bad looking when it's like completely lowered. Never mind. It still looks like shit. <laughs> This definitely sounds... It's gone. It definitely sounds... Oh god, traffic. My god! Jesus, the guys in this game just don't budge when you try to push them out of the way. Oh my god, this is weird to drive. It's mid-engine, so the front is super light. The front is very, very light, and then whenever I put too much power down, it's just like... Okay, yeah, it's it's a bit... It's just a little bit too powerful. 600 horsepower in a car that weighs like 600 kilos. Alright, so if you think about it, there's like no weight being pressed down on the front wheels of this thing. The engine's in the middle, it's rear-wheel drive. So it has no weight on the front wheels for it to give it any, like, possible grip on the front. I think 600 horsepower was just a little bit too much for this thing. I think it was fine, just as soon as I engine swapped this thing, I think it was fine with whatever horsepower it was, was it like 300 or 400 horsepower? Look, there's no grip on my front wheels. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do here is, uh, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try to reduce the camber for both the front and the rear, so I'm gonna reduce the rear down a lot, and then for the front I'm gonna reduce that to just about negative 2 degrees. Now, what I wanna do here is I also wanna bring the toe down as well a little bit. Um, anti-roll bars. I am gonna go ahead and, uh, soften the front just a little bit. And same with the springs, I'm gonna soften the front once again with that. And, uh, I'll we'll see what that's like. I'm also gonna stretch out the gears just a little bit. Just so I have slightly longer gears. And that's pretty much it. And, uh, actually, before I go anywhere else, I wanna go ahead and, uh, give a little bit less tire pressure on the front. See if I can squeeze out just a little bit more grip out of those front tires, somehow. Alright, let's give this a shot. Alright, let's try this once again. See if I can, uh, if I've done anything different to this. Eh, grips a little bit more. 
But it's still... It's still a weird... Mid-engine rear-wheel drive... Little track here. Oh god. So it still feels very weird to drive. I just still feel like there's no weight on the front wheels. It just feels crazy to drive. Oh my god, that's what makes this a proper unusual drift build. It's just it's just weird to drive. Oh, watch out for the Mazda. Sorry, Mazda. Okay, can you... Can you not fuck me, please? Literally, cars in this game don't budge when you push them out of the way. Oh no, that was too hard. Too hard of a flick. This is weird to drive. I can't do... I can't do like crazy angle with this thing. It's just impossible. I, I lose it. It's a little bit of angle. Like this, I can hold, and then a bit too much, and it's gone. <laughs> oh, this is fun to drive. It's so weird. So, so weird. I think this is a lot more difficult to drive than the BMW Z, I think. I honestly think so. It's weird. There's, like I said, there's like no... No weight on the front wheels. There we go. He's on with the power. Because I have been kind of flooring it in every corner. And that doesn't help me. When I'm spinning out. See what I mean? I, was just, I just floored it in fourth gear and it's like, nope. I'm gone, mate. Alright. Well, we got 65,000 points here. I don't know what my... My thing is, I de it's definitely not a new score. Okay, it's 85,000. Okay, I'm gonna try now and see if I can get like 80,000 with this thing. No, again, too hard. Dude, uh, you lose this so easily. I still have a skill chain? What the hell? You lose this so easily when you just... When you use too much power. 59,000 points. It's just gone. Look how easy it is for it to just like spin out. Well, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed me test driving and building an unusual car to try and slide, which is this thing. It's basically a little track car. It's mid-engine, it's rear-wheel drive. The front just struggles, struggles for grip. Especially whenever I'm putting just a little bit too much, too much pressure on it by accelerating too much. And it, it just can't handle. It can't handle the... <laughs> it can't handle the power of this thing. 600 horsepower in a car that weighs like 600 kilos. That is... that's mental. That is pretty crazy. Well, like I said, I think that's gonna be it. Thank you again for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed my videos, subscribe to the channel, all that sort of stuff. I never usually say this at the end of videos. I don't even know why I'm trying to say it now. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Let me finish off this run here. Hopefully I don't get crashed into it, thank you. Fifty-two thousand points. I lost it there, by the way. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be a thing, I'm gonna stop. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.